And a very good evening, everybody. I'm John Cole. Earlier in the year, we told you that Teton DH Cameron Goff had signed a letter of intent to play Division I college baseball with Arkansas Pine Bluff. And tonight, the native of Florida talked to me about the great news for this kid who loves to play the game of baseball. Um, Pine Bluff is just like, it's a Division I school, and it's something I've always wanted to do since uh, I grew up playing baseball. And it's something my parents instilled in me that they thought I could do, and I thought I could do myself. And uh, Priz really helped me uh, achieve that goal. And without him, it wouldn't have been possible. Um, Coach Miles is a really good guy, and he really liked what he saw, and I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity. How did they see you? Uh, through Priz, just sending them video, and um, they liked it, and they decided to reach out, and that's how I made my decision. Nice to be able to play at the highest level of college baseball. Yes, sir, it definitely is, and I'm really looking forward to it, and hopefully we can make it last for, for two more years. What did they say they liked about you? Uh, the swing, my swing. And so hopefully that will play at the next level, at the, the highest level. Quite a baseball you... journey. Florida, North Dakota, now to, up to Arkansas. It's been quite a journey. Yes, it has, and I, I enjoy doing it. That's why I'm still doing it. And uh, I think I'd do anything to keep playing this game as long as possible, and hopefully uh, that goal will be reached too. And baseball's baseball. Yes, it is. Always will be. Chance to make a lot of friends and new adventures. Oh, yes. I've made every single one of my friends is uh, from baseball, and it'll always be that way. And back home, I don't have many friends besides the kids I play baseball with. So uh, I enjoy it, and I enjoy meeting new people. Touch them all. All righty. It's a beautiful swing. No question about that. He and his teammates who swept Botano yesterday. Next in action, Saturday at home against Dawson at 2 p.m. We hope the weather warms up. Well, the morning rains move the Williston versus Minot tennis match indoors to the arc this afternoon. Let's take a look at Williston's top doubles team. That is Williston senior Gracia Tong, good athlete, serving Minot. And then it's Kyle Presley Larson is going to drill it. Also, a senior Tong serving and my not too strong on the return. So out of the gates in front of the home folks, Kyle's looking real good. Minot's Lila Olson is going to drill one. Well, Williston can't quite return. Of course, longtime rivals in tennis. Olson serving now, and she can't return the shot from Tong. Minot serving this time around, and this time it's the Coyotes who uh, can't quite get it to go over. And of course, 20 years ago, they would have had to call this off, so we love the arc, that's for sure. Baseball Coyotes were supposed to meet Minot this afternoon in the Magic City. Twin Bill has been rained out. It's been rescheduled for April 25th. In Sunday's 11-4 win by the Bison over Northern Colorado, former Coyote and Keybird Garrett Hill hit an RBI double. Today's game against the Minnesota Golden Gophers canceled due to the weather. How about this story? Ethan Moe continues to put together a great freshman season with the Bison in the 800 at the Brian Clay Invitational in California over the weekend. He finished third with a time of 150.24. A personal best for the Coyote, and get this, number eight all-time in the Bison program, all-time. The winning time was 149.22 from Jake Orr of BYU, and if you're a Coyote track fan, you're not surprised at all. Just an incredible young man. What a talent. All right, let's take a timeout on First News at 6.